Some pictures to let some time go by. Can we also the box? Fingers crossed. Oh, no, we're not in. Sorry. Oh, I don't even know if they're. I think this one's open. I've spoken to y'all since the concert. I have to get, oh yeah, this is not gonna work. Okay, so I have to get a, a different car mount. But I don't think I've spoken to you guys since the Chris Brown concert. Um, so as you guys can see, we obviously did get in. They were sold out at the box office, so I would I recommend driving three hours to go to the box office because I think they opened the box office at like five. So by the time we got there, they were, um, they were sold out. Wouldn't do that, but we ended up finessing and getting in. So right now I am, it's like a couple days later, I think like a week later, I'm not sure. I'm at laser away, I'm about to go get my first time ever getting laser hair removal. They reached out to me to collab with me. Um, I'm kind of scared because I've never had laser before. So I'm only doing my underarms and my legs. I'm just, I get six sessions for free. I'm just low key kind of scared though, because I heard it feels like pinching. Like I don't know. 
I don't know how it goes, but I'm terrified. Not even gonna lie. Um, I should have, like, I should have got my bikini area, but I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. I really should have just got my bikini area. I wonder if I could switch it. I know, because I didn't shave. You have to shave before. I didn't know that either. So, since I'm getting my underarms, I couldn't even put deodorant on, which I, it's too hot outside and I have deodorant on. But, um, I don't know why I didn't put you guys on the little tripod thing. <sighs> Did I leave it? No, I didn't. But yeah, so I'm about to, I got like 20 minutes. I'm about to go inside in case I have to do any paperwork or anything. And yeah, I'll see y'all inside. Original, yeah, you want a replica? No. Smooth, Dean, a regular, regular. No. Pretty for real, I'm pretty for my cellular. No. So I got a show for first class, now I get around the world. Just mess me with the drama, unless you come in with the commas. Oh, DJ, turn the sound up, cause we about to pour the rounds up. Okay, so that was my first laser session. It wasn't that bad. It just put like little zaps, like little shocks or whatever. But now I'm going to the car dealership to go custom out. But that's a whole different story. I got my churros that she tried to charge me $16 for because she thought I added a water. I didn't ask for no damn water. But anyway, so yeah, now I'm about to go to this dealership and handle this business. And then I'll talk to y'all when we get home. If looking a mess was a person it would 110 percent be me i look like i don't love myself let me show you how the nails the middle fingers on both are gone i needed to fill about two weeks ago toes i might even finish showing all the toes the toes look absurd my edges were cute while i left the house they were you know they were laid stepped outside now they want to say hi they're lifting up i don't know what happened it's too hot outside or my edge control is terrible real quick um as for the toes i'm going to get my toes done now and i'm actually going to get a soap because i was oh i need a new mount i was watching um some youtube videos last night i was watching jayla's youtube video last night um and she posted this kiss video with these nails they're like the kiss salon extend nails so it's like basically gel x nails at home they look really cute and i'm kind of sick like i go through phases there's sometimes i like designs on nails. i like acrylic sometimes i like acrylic nails i like designs all that and then sometimes i really hate that i am chopped off like this but bear with me um and then sometimes i just like simple basic short nails and so right now i'm at a simple basic short nails and i don't want acrylics anymore to be honest so i'm going to go try these kiss extend but I have to soak these off first and get my toes done. Then we're gonna go home and do our lashes and our eyebrows and just look cute because honey, look good, feel good. I feel amazing right now. But I look a mess. Just is terrible. Okay, but I just went and took my nails off and got a basic pedicure. And I felt like I was bamboozled a little bit because it was $70 and she didn't even give me a massage. So that don't really sound right but i'm about to go to marshall because i need an eyebrow pencil i'm going in there for an eyebrow pencil and an eyebrow pencil only so we'll see what i walk out with and i couldn't record myself in the nail salon because i had my hands so in while she was doing my feet but it's not gonna be hard to get in and out of here because there's too many people in here and i'm already aggravated so. they usually have them in here all the time and now that i need one i can't find it I don't really understand the difference between a derma planner and an eyebrow razor because are they not the same? No, but this is all I wanted and it is way too many people in here. So let me go. This was God's way of telling me I don't need to spend no more money. Yeah, no. That line is way too long just for this, so... We're gonna have to tweeze them because I'm not wasting all this time. I'm gonna put this 
right back here and go about my day. I went to CVS and I got the kit. These are the nails currently a mess. They're actually not that bad. They just feel weak because I've had acrylic on for so long. That's the thing I don't get. Acrylic grows your nails out so strong, but they make them so weak. I mean, they grow them out so long. Acrylic grows your nails out so long, but like they make them so weak. So these are my current nails. And I went and got the kit from CBS, the Salon Extend. Um, this is the kit that it, these are the nails that it came with. But I don't really think I like these. So I just went and got these to go with it. Just a regular kind of almond shaped French tip. Now I'm about to just put these on and put the little light right here. But yeah, let's get into this real quick and then we can get started with the rest of my main oh. Since I caught you on that ice, you got no chill, no more. Ever since I caught you on that ice, you got no chill, no more. Make it leave, make it leave, make it leave. Never try to waste your time, ain't never try to waste mine. Crew did a billion times, whoa. Up. We went to church together. I always keep you close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you dressed up for me, but you don't want to show anybody. Mm -hmm. Super low key, you don't know anybody. Uh -huh. Can't wait to see you down in private. You know my deepest dark desire. Everything is done my camera's about to die so that's it for tonight i was gonna film another video but at this point it's like almost 10 o'clock and i would have to do my makeup and then get ready to record yeah my camera's about to cut off at it's cut off at any moment now so i will talk to y'all next time and i'll see you probably like tomorrow or something so okay so um i saw this tiktok oh it. wait i need the cups i saw this tiktok on this girl who made an iced coffee from home and i need to start spending the money why are you coming over here? Oh, I need to stop spending money on the coffee. I'm gonna answer you over here somewhere. Alright, here's something different. Do you wanna be in it? Yeah, all day. You came over here as soon as I hit record. I ain't coming here. You did get up. I don't know, but I just got up to do something else. What you have to do? I'm hungry. Okay. Come on, baby. Came over with an idea. They ain't taking you. Yeah, you need help. Take for it that? out. No, Put it in the oven. Okay, right, but so I'm gonna try to make this iced coffee. Um, and maybe I can stop spending money. No. Every morning. <laughs> Too much of the actual like coffee. Are we gonna see? I don't even need Starbucks. I'm gonna do a little thing. Today, right, you did. Right, I need to go to West Palm you Beach did. to go to the store called Once Upon a Time to get some of Milani clothes or to sell some Milani clothes. So it's like Play Doh's just for babies. Plato's high keys robbery because 
I went there the other day and I saw some clothes and they tried to keep uh, they tried to keep seven items for twelve dollars. You know today? I don't think I have anything else planned. Didn't have to edit this vlog because whoa, whoa, whoa. it's going up tomorrow because I'm sick of it. I'm wrapping it up. I don't care if it happens to anything. I don't care if it's boring. It I'm sick of it. So yeah. I'm not even like OD and this coffee is literally tastes just like Starbucks. And then I actually got an email about a dub campaign that I have to, they told me to apply. So um, I'm gonna apply, but I have to like look cute and stuff. It's a hair campaign. So whether I get it or don't get it, I'm just trying to be more transparent with you guys about the opportunities that I do get. So do my hair, do my makeup and do the video and I'll insert that later for you guys. But yeah, I'm about to eat these bagels and Relax for a little bit, watch Bel Air, because I haven't been able to watch Bel Air, and then we'll watch you. get ready to go to West Palm Beach. And then, yeah, we'll chat with y'all later. I didn't even go to, um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm cold, one second. Um, I didn't even end up going to West Palm Beach to go to the place because it got a little bit too late. I let time pass me by, and I didn't feel like driving anymore. So, I might go tomorrow. Might or might not, I don't know. We'll see when that time comes. I need to clean my vanity. There's so much. I actually got a, I think I told you guys earlier about like the Dove campaign that I was gonna apply for or whatever. So I'm going to actually get ready to film that audition right now. I film it in a vertical format using this camera though. So I'm just gonna insert the TikTok. It is a Dove hair campaign. Um, I've worked with Dove before with their uh, a soap. So the hand soap. So I'm excited to possibly work with them again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So it is a mega shoot in Bangkok, Thailand. I've never been in Thailand before, so I'm excited about that. They're looking for women with depth that are unique and have a great capacity of self-expression. We believe you'll be a wonderful fit for this photo shoot and we'd love to extend the opportunity to apply. Here are a few details about it, whatever. It's like a long email. Basically, it's a photo shoot. They're gonna fly me to Thailand, pay for like round trip, pay for um, accommodations where I'm staying at, et cetera, food. And then on top of that, they're gonna give $10,000. So I don't know how many people they're gonna pick for this photo shoot. I have to basically just submit a video. It says introduce yourself, including your name, where you're located, tell us if your hair is colored, if you have extensions or not, put your hair to the front, put your hair to the back, shake it, put your hair up in a ponytail and raise your chin, turn to the back, shake your hair and push it all the way to the back, pull it up into a bun so the hairline is visible, turn to the side, Pull hair into a ponytail, turn the hair to the front and play with your hair. Yeah, travel will be covered and not and will not come out of your payment. So basically a brand trip, pretty much. You get a trip to go do a photo shoot. Hopefully I do get the opportunity to do this. That'll be really fun. That'd be actually be so cool. That'd be my first actual like brand trip. But before we get into that, do a little pause, little brief. Um so I did sign up for Sephora Squad 2024. I don't think I spoke about it with you guys yet, but yeah, so I signed up for Sephora Squad. I signed up for it last year too. Unfortunately, I didn't make it, but it was kind of like my first time. Like I had just started like getting into makeup for real. So I wasn't really expecting to make it. But I'm a little bit more seasoned, you know, in the makeup gang. So gang, in the makeup game. So hopefully I can get it. Fingers crossed. If you're watching it and you made it this far, can you please hit the link in my bio and leave me a testimonial? It is greatly appreciated. They definitely help with my application. It is 8.30 and why don't you just go ahead and start this video. I woke up today to a very exciting email. I'm gonna attach it here so y'all can read it. Of Thailand, $10,000. All out my alley. I worked with Dove before for their hand soap and now I have the opportunity to work with them again. Usually I would not even be telling you guys this because it's not completely sealed. I feel like a lot of content creators don't really give a clear like behind the scene when it comes to like brand deals, etc. Whether I get it or don't get it, just being transparent and showing you guys kind of what goes on. Like I mentioned, I did work with them before, so it's Exciting to possibly working with them again. I had the deal with the hand soap. They paid me $800. This is a huge step from $800 to $10,000. So that's a full all expense paid trip. I have been blessed with getting some good brand deals. No, I don't have hundreds, thousands of followers, but it is possible. Even if I don't get it, I am blessed to even be thought of. I am on pretty much every content creator site. Keepers, obviously, collectively, casting network, 
project casting, backstage, incense, popular pays. Since I am a small content creator, I don't have any management. I get most of my brand deals through these sites or if the company reaches out to me directly. Y'all know how I have my keep it or kick it series where I test like makeup products. But I don't wanna make like a content creation series where I kind of give you guys any tips and just take you along the journey. Kind of better prepare you than I was. Love creating content, love documenting my life, but I also just wanna be able to open doors for other people, be a representation for other people. So while we're here, I did apply for Sephora Squad. So if you guys can click the link in my bio and leave me a testimonial. Some of my videos are so long sometimes, talk too much. So he nervous to shoot the audition tape. It is not in my hands anymore. It is in God's hands. Whatever happens, happens. Makeup is done. I want to go ahead and shoot this audition tape. Fingers crossed. I'll be going to Thailand. It is 954. Campaign is done. I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna edit it in like a really cute way, like using their example video and kind of putting it into my video. It gave cute, it gave flirty, it gave hopefully we're going to Thailand. I don't even know when they're gonna like announce who they picked or how many they're gonna pick. I know nothing. I applied and hopefully I do get picked. If I don't, it's always next time. Delayed, not denied. Um, yeah, it's on today o'clock, so I'm about to have something to eat in the shower call it a night um i'm gonna end this video here just for the sake of uploading it tomorrow because i want to upload the video on sunday this video has dragged out long enough i'll keep you guys updated i know i have my friend gabby's birthday dinner on wednesday so i will see you guys next week sometime and like i said fingers crossed and i'm gonna say it again links in my bio if you have not left me a testimonial yet for the forest squad and you engage and watch my content, please, 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 please click the link in my bio, leave a testimonial. It'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next week.